Welcome to episode 61 of my POA podcast, Black Hand and Beyond. Tonight's one of our exciting podcasts of the year. This is the second annual ba Cutest Baby Contest. So we did one last year in 22. We didn't do one the first year that we uh, were doing the podcast. I thought of it last year, and hopefully we do one every year. Even if I quit doing podcasts, I think we'll do an annual uh, Cutest Baby because we had... Uh, 45 babies entered, over 21 different uh, owners and breeders uh, participated in this. There was a little $5 fee. If you've seen how I worked on putting this all together the last couple days in a hurry and even today, you'd know why there was a little $5 fee. It was just a, a little token. So uh, last year we only had 30 some babies, nothing against the owners and babies last year, but this year people stepped up their game. Uh, we got a lot better pictures, I think, and uh, we have 45 tough competitors. So just as last year, I had a person that I know, not POA affiliated. They really don't know any POA people besides me, and I didn't have any influence. So it was one person last year that judged. This year it was a different person. And like I say, uh, all I coached them was I said, you know, it's a cuteness contest. It's not a photo contest. It's not a confirmation contest. It's just cute babies. So whatever your opinion is on that, and it's kind of like just judging at a show, a car to judge, you know, a lot of times it's opinion. And this is really that way because it's just basically what you like for cuteness. So we are going to show all 45 that entered here. You could see them. I put them on yesterday. So they were on uh, a couple days now, and I believe I put them on Sunday. I put them all at one shot. I tried to put them on as fast as I could so they'd all be on within uh, an hour or so of each other. It takes a while to type in all the names and the owners and then attach the picture. So I got them all on, had a few little hiccups, had to correct a few typos. I believe I got them all right, and uh, now they're on there. And tonight we'll reveal the top ten. So we got a lot of people saying hello. All I see is Facebook user. I did see Terry. If I turn on my phone, I get reverb, so I'm not going to do that. But then I could see all you guys. So sometimes if you just want to say who you are, that would help me know. And hopefully the 20-some people that are represented tonight, most of them can watch live. I get it that people have things going on, meetings and classes and different things, chores. Uh, but you can always watch it anytime. So uh, we're going to turn the screen on here. I'm not going to have my face in the corner as much tonight because you're getting a big dose of it right now in my purple shirt. So you don't really need me over in the corner while I'm reading all these because I am going to read it off just like reading pedigrees. I'll read the barn name of the baby if they have a registered name already. Some of them are pending. Some don't have names. Sire dam and then breeder and owner if it's different. So, and then when we get to the end, I'll be scrolling. So you'll have to put up with a little bit of scrolling on the screen here and I'll go back and reveal 10 through one. And uh, if you've seen the artwork that uh, Katie did for me out in uh, Oregon, she did a great job. Uh, Katie Moeller Crane on the cutest baby contest. I asked her to do that on Sunday and she whipped that up so fast. And there's also gonna be a poster now given to last year's winner. So Barry Sweet Acres of Minnesota with Milkshake. They'll have a poster to remember winning the photo contest by and this year's winner will get one as well. It's got some logos in the corner uh, representing Jackson's, representing Katie because she was the artist that created it. And then the logo, the cutest baby logo. And of course the My, My POA podcast, Black Hand and Beyond will be on there. So uh, I think it turned out great. And that's what we're gonna do every year. That's gonna be the award is a poster that you can do what you want with it. If you wanna hang it in the bathroom or you wanna hang it in your tack room or a kid's bedroom Room, horse trailer whatever give it to somebody that bought the full but I do think it's something cool and it's an award uh, to be remembered for winning this cutest baby contest on uh, my POA podcast black hand and beyond uh, thank you everybody for liking these pictures the last couple days we've had hundreds of comments and likes on these 45 babies that was just awesome and that just helps the POA history group as well so I do want to uh, plug a show coming up. The Kansas POA Club's having their Cottonwood Ca Classic this coming weekend. Huge show with a lot of, lot of uh, classes, big show bill, and it's open to all breeds. So if you can get a chance to get up there, I think it's three judges on Saturday. Uh, go on up and have fun up in Lyons, Kansas. So all right, let's turn the screen on. And if you guys are not seeing these babies, uh, please let me know. Okay, I know there's some people watching already, so we gotta scroll to the top. Okay, so there's the partial logo there. 
So, okay, like I say, just let me know if you're not seeing what I'm seeing because I'm seeing entry number 116 is Rocky. And his registered name will be HGF Just a Splash of Heaven. Sire is Clay Hill Lazy Loper. The dam is AKA Lucky Number Heaven. And he was bred and owned by Wendy Zastro and Jordan Ashbrenner. And thank you to, for those guys. They entered six in this contest this year. So, and they always enter their stallion in our uh, stallion showcase, stallion roster the last two years. So, this is entry number 116, Rocky. Got to scroll. And these are in no particular order. They're from 101 to 145, but I got to go by what they're up on Facebook right now. So, that's why I'm not reading them number 101 to 145. Next entry number is 141. Sister, sired by his dirty dealer, and the dam is Santee Delilah, who's been a good broodmare in at least three different great programs now. Bred by Thorson POA, is owned by Terry Thorson. Of course, this is a full sister uh, to G dealer's Ginger Snap, who was the junior champion mare last year at the national show. The next one is entry number 125, is Shroom. Registered name is going to be AA's Bomb Diggity. Sire is RPR Dixieland Classic. Dam is Saving Grace. This was bred by Jessica Jeffrey and Betty Laskowski. They're from British Columbia, and they're also the current owner, I believe. So we, got, we did receive three from this group from British Columbia, so I like that. Put a little bit of uh, North American flair on this. Our next entry came in, and the picture was actually a different way, but it ended up being this way, and it worked. I mean, it's still it's a very cute picture. The dogs are a little crooked, uh, but it was cemented sideways, and it came out this way, but don't worry, it didn't hurt it in the judging. This is entry number 102, Porky, and they're working on a name right now. I see on Facebook, Sire is Hot Chocolate Hunter. Of course, a good Appaloosa stallion that's been in a POA program most of his life. The dam is bouncing to the big time, and he is bred and owned by C. Hafer Performance Horses. Get a better shot right there. Looks like Little Red Riding Hood there in her red hoodie. Okay, next we have another entry that was with six. This is entry 119. Romeo, and I haven't had any comments yet. Hopefully you guys can see these pictures. You can comment along about these guys, all positive comments, of course. Uh, his registered name will be HGF Talk About a Loper, sired by Clay Hill Lazy Loper. The dam is Clay Hill Chocolate Bell. Again, this one was bred and owned by Wendy Zastro and Jordan Ashbrenner from Wisconsin. That's Romeo. Next, we move to entry number 109. And this one did get over 110 likes for the popular contest portion. This is Domino. Registered name is Wendy's Soul Shine. Wendy's Soul Shine. Sired by Wendy's Man in Black. And the dam is Goldie's Secret Nugget. And this one was bred by Tracy Coyle. And he's already sold to Butch Keller of Missouri. Again, one of the popular ones for, for voting. Of course, we didn't judge the contest on voting, but it's always got to help and make the person who entered these feel good when they see over 110 uh, likes and loves and 23 comments. So almost all of these got over 40 or 50 likes, and some of them went over 100. So thank you, everyone, for that. Now we're seeing viewing is great. Thanks, Tracy, for that. Allison looking good. Allison said, oh, yeah, he is nice, good. Okay, so we move on to entry number 127, Casey Joe. They're working on a registered name on this one as well. Sire is BF Ultra Impulsive Kid. Dam is Precious Dark Moon. 
Bread known by Jody Savage. Nice stall there. Nice baby. Fresh shavings. That baby looks like it's already ready to stand up by itself. Again, a lot of views on that one. A lot of, a lot of uh, comments. Our next entry tonight is entry number 145. This was the last one to make the deadline. And this is Kyle. His registered name is CHR Hullabaloo, sired by TAF. I'm pretty cool. And the dam is, I might screw this up, Ochilada. Bread known by Tommy and Suzanne Tomlin from Texas, of course. And they entered three. And this is one of their entries. Next, we have entry 137, Clip. Clip was entered by uh, Katie Moeller Crane, who did the artwork for me after the fact, after uh, she entered these and after all the judging and everything, which I don't do the judging anyway. But she entered six, I believe, this year, something like that. And... She's got a clip and a chip. That's kind of cool. You'll see that later. But the registered name on this baby is going to be MVP Star Shining Dream. The sire is Starlight Shiner, AQHA. The dam is Tough Little Dreamsicle. And it's bred by Catherine Muller Crane. And let's see. You're going to hear some paper, paper rough one here, but I want to make sure... And, yep, Katie Crane is the owner still. So this foal may be available. You can always talk to Katie and see if these babies are available. All the owners, all 2021 owners, some of these are sold already, of course, but some may be available. Next up is entry number 124, another British Columbia entry. This is Jesse. Registered name is going to be AA's Jesse's Wonder. Sire is RPR, Classic Plot It. The dam is RPR, April Mist. Bred by Jessica Jeffrey and Betty Leskowski. And I believe it's owned by Jessica Jeffrey. That's enter no, entry number 124 there. Close up. Head shot, side shot. All right, we move on to entry number 122. I'm going to pull that one up in my sheets while you guys admire that baby. And read all about it. Okay. Live TV. We got live TV going on here. There we go. Okay, this is Madden, entry 122. Z winging it. Great name. Great sire. Of course, world champion wingman, AQHA. Welcome to POA, wingman, and all his uh, contacts. And his, the dam of Madden is ZRI Impressive. Of course, he was bred by Lindsey Zom in Indiana. And he is currently owned by Olivia Yates. Congratulations, Olivia, on getting a good POA. I believe she just joined POAs, and I've commented to her that she got a good one and a great bred POA, uh, an own, own foal by Wingman, who's a young AQHA stallion, and, of course, he is a world champion. Moving on to entry number 120 is Roxy. And Roxy is registered name as HGF, Rocks My World. Sire Clay Hill, Lazy Loper. Dam is Farah's Moonshine 16. As you can see there, she looks like an AQHA, and she is. And again, this was one of the groups that out of, there was six of them. And it's bred by Wendy's Astro and Jordan Ashbrenner from Wisconsin. Number 120, Roxy. You'll notice tonight one of the themes is there's quite a few black foals out of these 45. Uh, POA has been trying to put 
different colors in for a while now. Black's been a popular color and demand color, and you notice a lot of breeders succeeded by doing that. I don't know if some of these tested black, but to the eye, the naked eye, of course, they look black. So, All right, moving on. Entry number 118, we have Vinny, HGF, designed by Loper. It's going to be his registered name, sired by Clay Hill Lazy Loper. You're hearing that name a lot tonight because they did enter six. The dam is Eagles View Grayson. Again, this one was bred by uh, the duo of Wendy Zastro and Jordan Ashbrenner of Wisconsin. So entry number 118 is Vinny. I hope you guys are enjoying the show so far. We're going to go through all 45 that were entered if you're just tuning in, and then we're going to reveal the top 10. And you'll have to bear with me because I'll have to scroll to find them. I tried to queue them up the right way, but when people comment and stuff, it always changes it a little bit. So, okay. We're moving on to entry number 114, Bugsy. Bugsy's register name is going to be Putton for a win. The sire is the... Marquee Kid, Dam is putting along. And this one was bred known by Shelly and Tom Peterson. I'm going to be really curious to see some of these babies. Won't it be cool to two, three years from now see some of these babies out and about at shows even this year? You know, at the Futurity and stuff, and we're coming up on Tulsa. And uh, if some of these are shown early, and you're going to say, oh, yeah, I remember the, some of these names from the podcast. I seen this one when it was a little baby in the cutest baby contest. Okay, up next we have entry number 113. Anna, registered name is going to be Sweet, Sweetie Anna Jones. Sire is the very famous pal Casey Jones, two-time international grand champion stallion. Dam is Double D's Sweet Streak. And this one is bred known by Rebecca or Alexis Chambers. Anna, entry number 113. You know, I read pedigrees for so many years, I'm catching myself wanting to say lot number. Lot number 113, lot number. and But I haven't so far tonight except just there. I did it on purpose, but entry number. So, again, that one had 67 likes and hearts. Moving on to entry number 121. And we have Vegas. Registered name will be CM Cajun Party Kid. Sire is the Impulsive Kid, an older stallion that's getting famous late in life. And the dam is Cajun Mercedes. And this one was bred known by Jamie and Mary Martin. Entry number 121, Vegas. We just had a question I noticed. Uh, Melissa Andering asked the one a while back, the Putton one, is this a full sibling to Putton Pretty? And that's baby dam is. Okay, so the either the dam is, or I, I think is what they meant, is a full sibling. So someone will answer that for us. So this one had almost 60 likes and loves. Again, Vegas. So we're moving on to entry number 129. This is Jumba. Registered name will be Berry Sweet Chocolate. Sire is Hot Chocolate Hunter. Again, the well-known Appaloosa stallion that's been in POAs for a long time. The dam is Silver's Precious Lady. If you recognize her, she was in the picture last year and her full last year milkshake won this contest. So you'll see him in the poster on here if you keep scrolling. And uh, he's been used in ads for the podcast. Again, Milkshake was his name from last year. Melissa might list his registered name, Barry Sweet, somebody. And, uh, of course, bred known by Tim and Melissa Andering of southeastern Minnesota. Next up, entry number 104. This is Bree. Bree's going to be Born to Love You, will be the registered name. Sire is the Impulsive Kid. Dam is a quarter horse mare. That's a lot of hot. Bred known by Seahafer Performance Horses. 
go on Albury Pedigree and you can look at their pedigrees, check out some of those quarter horse pedigrees. This one's received quite a few uh, likes and three comments. So entry number 104 is Bree. Entry 110 is the first entry tonight from Tracy Keen. She put in all three of her babies. This is Ellie, and her registered name is TC Weedo by Design, sired by her very good stallion who's getting a well-known name, as he should, TC Impulsive Weedo. The dam is also a TC, TC Unspeakable Delight. And, of course, this one was bred by Tracy Keen out of Florida. And it is now owned by Terry Strauss of Pennsylvania. Taking a little snooze there, maybe. About two. Over 60 likes on that, baby. Moving on, we have our third British Columbia entry from the same group of people. And this is entry number 126, Musha. Musha, hopefully. AA's. Guardian of Lost Souls, and that's all one name, so I think I did pretty good there. Sire is AA's Lucian, Dam is AA's Major B, and this one was bred known by Jessica Beld. Ho hopefully, they're watching uh, because I know it's way earlier in British Columbia than it is in uh, Oklahoma. They entered some really loud colored ones from up there, and this is. Like I say, their third entry, entry 126. So we had a couple this year entered, and I seen another one that didn't enter, but I seen it on Facebook named Kit. And we had two kits this year, one with two Ts. This one is entry 135, Kit, K-I-T. Registered name will be MVP, looking spot on epic. Sire is the little stallion out there in Oregon, MSF, looking to be epic. The Loud Leopard, who's making a name for himself. Uh, the Dam, here we go again. Seja, Sejawa, Sejawa, uh, trying. Bread and owned by Katie Crane. So entry number 135, Kit. Let's take a little better look at that picture. Why take a drink of water? 45 entries is a lot to read. We need a volunteer for next year to be live and be a co-host with me, and we can go every other one. You can sit in the chair over there. They're really nice gamer chairs, real comfortable, and I'll get you some soft drinks, and we'll go back and forth. If we got anybody that wants to do that, drive to Enid, Oklahoma. I'll put you up in a hotel, take you out to dinner, whoever wants to help me out. Next up is entry number 134, and this is Scarlet. S.E. My Fabulous Scarlet, sired by K.C. A, a Silent Legacy. Dam is Dutch Peach. Of course, there's a lot of great Dutch mares out there from the Dykstra Program of Iowa. Uh, they're, they're not breeding as much anymore, but the Dutch name is still out there. And this one was bred known by Shannon Clark of California. Looks like she's taken off Scarlet there, heading somewhere. That one received almost 75 likes and loves and eight comments. Okay, there's our logo now for the cutest baby contest. That's gonna that was on the poster that'll be giving to Barry Sweet Acres for winning 2022, and it'll be on the poster along with the baby winner winning picture uh, for 2023. That's our new logo. Thank you to Katie Crane from Oregon for doing this for me. Our next entry is 133, Kit with two Ts. Registered name's going to be a good time machine. Sire is BF Ultra Impulsive Kid. Dam is Sizzling Ice Machine, AQHA. I can imagine the bloodlines in that. Again, I always go and research your bloodlines on all breed pedigree. Bred known by Jane Bailey. 
I like the overhead shot there so you could see the split blanket. I thought that was a unique shot being able to, you wouldn't have seen that from the profile maybe unless you got really up high above and cool face mark as well. Cool star. So that one has over 40 likes and loves. Take a look at my comments, see how we're doing. Melissa said, if only you were closer. Well, you know, I used to live in Minnesota, three hours north of you, and I found my way to Oklahoma, so you probably could come down here for a vacation. Maybe I'll have it closer to Tulsa week. I bet I'd get some, maybe some help then. You guys would probably be wore out if we have it right after Tulsa, though, after showing a hot week at the big show. All right, so 133 was Kit. Let's move on to entry number 107. Speaking of Melissa Andring, here's one of her three entries tonight. Again, they had the winner last year. Now, she named this one Stitch because she has a Lilo and she has a Stitch, but I think people are nicknaming this one Peekaboo because it's peeking around the corner there from that calf hut or whatever that white poly is there. So that's what I've been naming it. Sorry, Melissa. Stitch is a good name too, especially when you have a Lilo, Lilo and Stitch. But uh, of course, the register name is going to be Barry Sweet Celebrity, sired by the Impulsive Kid, who we've mentioned a lot tonight, and another great dam, Dutch Mare, Dutch Love is the dam, bred known by Melissa and Tim Andr Andring of Minnesota. And look at that. I couldn't have timed it better. It should have been first, though, Lilo and Stitch. We're backwards. Sorry, Disney. So entry 108 is Lilo, very sweet Jubilee is the registered name. Sire is 50 shades darker. Dam is Dutch rock and roll, bred known by Melissa and Tim Andring of Minnesota. Another one of those black looking babies. We had some comments on this about the stride of the mare and the stride of the baby, how it was right on. A, a photographer mentioned that. This photo is awesome, both in rhythm with legs. Bev, Bev mentioned that. Bev, out from out west. Okay. Damon POAs, Damon POAs entered two, and they don't have barn names or names, but that's okay. We should have a contest for Corey and Dean to try to get these babies some names. Because this baby here ended up getting 139 likes and loves. He was one of the, if this was a popularity contest, he'd be right up there. Also 17 comments. It is kind of a wow in your face. Somebody said it looked like he had a sweater on, on his forearms there. Uh, so entry number 131 at this moment is unnamed. Sire is the silver kid who, of course, just passed away lately. Leading Sire in POA history of National Congress wins. The dam is... Just the angel fire. And as mentioned, bread known by Damon POAs of Iowa. Shouldn't be too hard to name that one. Hey, look, there's an ad for tomorrow night, which is tonight. The then, the then is the now, right? All right, lot, entry number, I did it. Entry number 130, buns. Registered name is these buns are impulsive. Sire is the impulsive kid. A few spot up in Wisconsin. Dam is RBR Lucky Buns. It never hurts to have some luck and some buns in there, right? Bread known by Lauren Kaufman. This one got nine comments, quite a few comments this day and age. And 47 likes and loves. There's buns, somebody just said. So I don't know if that was Lauren that said that or somebody connected to the Impulsive Kid. All I can see is Facebook user. Thank you to everybody for playing along tonight. And speaking of playing along, please remind me because I have an announcement to make at the end of this if I'm not passed out after reading all the finalists. So we move on from buns to entry number 138, steel. And registered name's going to be MVP, looking impulsive. They said they named him Steel after Buns of Steel. Of course, they spelled it like the chainsaw. Sire is MSF, looking to be epic. And the dam, I didn't put the word dam, but anyway, it's Miss Sandy Impulsive. 
Miss Sandy, yeah, Impulse. It might be Impulsive, but I wrote Impulse. But Jan Rogers will correct me tomorrow, and that's fine because I know that mare came from her. Again, this one is bred and owned by Katie Muller Crane. Thank you for entering so many babies again this year, Katie. It really helped this year. We had multiples. Last year, we had a large breeder enter about 13. This year, she just got too busy and couldn't get them entered. You know, sometimes it's hard to get them all named and even photographs, let alone send them to somebody to put them in a contest. So there's Jan, the top contributor, said my grandbaby. So four comments on that one. All right. Entry number 111 is Zeke. Zeke will be TC Big Time Weedo. Perfect name for his breeding. Sire is, of course, the champion sire, TC Impulsive Weedo. And the dam is Doc's Big Time Sweetie, who has a great POA pedigree. And uh, Tracy got her a few years back to cross on uh, Impulsive Weedo. And here's one of the results. I think she did good. Bred by Tracy Keene. This baby sold already, uh, but I believe it's a surprise. So we're not saying the name. Six comments on that one, on Zeke. Moving on to entry number 140. And this is the helper in the barnyard here, Clover. Sire is MSF looking to be epic. And Dam is Joe's Jewel Tucker, AQHA. Bred known by Holly Rossi. Of course, MSF looking to be epics, well represented tonight. That's Katie Stallion out in Oregon. And I believe he's got five or six in here, probably five. Again, 53 comment, or uh, likes and loves on that one. Next up, entry number 117, Reggie. Reggie's registered name is going to be HGF El Rojo Loper, sired by Clay Hill Lazy Loper. The dam is Wiz Chicken Time. And, of course, this one, it doesn't say there, but it'll be bred by Wendy. I got it memorized pretty much. Zastro, right? Yep, if I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not Wendy, I'm sorry, but Wendy Zastro and Jordan Ashbrenner. I believe they're a mother-daughter combination in Wisconsin. Hopefully I have them on here as a young breeder highlight in the months to come. So again, not to take anything away from this one, that's 117 Reggie. Taking a little nap there inside mom's legs. Mom looks tuckered out too. Both exhausted, Ann said. Ann's from uh, Australia, the one that commented on that. All right. Entry number 103 was one of our early entries, and the barn name is Johnny Cash. So, of course, the registered name is going to be VS Walk the Line. Sire is VS Flatline, AQHA. If you're in horses at all, stock horse business, you know the VS and VS Flatline and everything they've done for quarter horse in the performance industry. And then the dam is the great few spot mare that's had a lot of winners. And her name is Cochita Hawks Respect. And this one is bred known by Nikki C. Hafer of Wisconsin. He looks like a little peanut there. I'm sure he's all unfolded now. This was an early picture. You got to remember the deadline was May 28th at 6 p.m. It was last year. It was again this year. It will be next year if we do this. And uh, so some people get them in early. Some people sent them in way before that, you know, early May. Some even, you know, as soon as they got them, got pictures of them, they sent them in to us, which is great. But some of these are at different ages. So there's Johnny Cash. He hit 70 likes and loves. So there is our poster of Milkshake. Of course, we enhanced the picture a little bit because the contest was over. The picture was actually in a stall with, I think, a blue bucket or a green bucket, and his mom was in the picture, but uh, we just made the artistic choice of doing it this way, 
and because it is highlighting the baby so it doesn't matter what the background was again the cutest baby contest up in the left jackson's auto family one of the big sponsors of my podcast in the upper right um, my poa podcast black hand and beyond is down there in the bottom and then mountain view poas is katie's logo for you know she does check her out for posters and logos she does uh stall you know the portraits for the stalls and stuff at the big shows so and ads for people so again thank you to her for making this award poster for me and it's going to go to melissa and tim andring of very sweet acres they won in 2022 so the 2023 winner that we're about ready to announce pretty quick will be also getting one but of course their baby will be in the middle not milkshake he's on his own this year will have a different baby all right the first one entered this year was entry number 101 lemon lemon's registered name is pimp my ride sire is dr chocolate i believe this is his first foal or one of his first foals he's the young stallion up in wisconsin at ca for performance horses the dam is crystal light aqha and this was bred known by nikki c hafer they went with food names this year we had a brie and a lemon johnny cash was different but i'm sure he liked food so it all works it's all good all right next we're moving on to extreme close up here entry number 128 aspen sire is 50 shades darker of course the dam and stallion in iowa the dam is aka heavenly romance and this one is bred known by arnell ernst entry 128 aspen Melissa says she loves it. Good. I'll be giving you that poster in Tulsa. So unless we run out of time and don't see each other enough, like what usually happens in Tulsa, you don't have enough time to talk. Sometimes all the people you run into and know and everybody's busy showing. I'm not showing there, but I'm trying to enjoy the, just talking to people and look at horses and stuff. And uh, But if not, I'll mail it to you. Entry number 112 is the third entry from Tracy Keene, and this is Mabel. Mabel's registered name is TC She's a Awesome Weedo. Again, the sire is TC Impulsive Weedo. We've talked about him a lot tonight. And the dam, I believe this is her first baby. Melissa can correct me if I'm wrong. Guaranteed Awesome, who uh, they showed, Melissa's niece showed her, and they also showed her in Halter. And uh, she won the medium mares last year, I believe it was, or the year before. And she's a really nice-looking mare. Of course, guaranteed equity is her sire. Bred by Tracy Keene, and this one was already sold at a very young age, probably embryo. And uh, it's sold to um, Lindsay Peaton of Arizona. Lindsay's had good luck with the TCs, and this will probably be another one. Entry 112. TC, she's an awesome weedo. Over 60 likes and loves on that one. All right, everybody having fun still? We didn't lose any crowd. Maybe we got a few more to join. Let's see, we got three hearts and two thumbs up, so. <laughs> okay, entry 106. Frankie. Frankie. And Frankie is sired by Zippo Pine Tar, and the dam is SRF Cajun Rumors. I apologize, I didn't put sire and dam on that one. But anyway, it's bred and owned by Danny Butler. Entry 106, Frankie. Looks like he's kissing his mom there. Saying, thanks mom for giving me life, taking care of me. Next up is entry 115, Flirt. This is, the registered name will be HGF, The Dunslinger. The sire is All Done in Silver, AQHA. And the dam is Guns and Real Dynamite. And this one, again, I think this is the sixth one. They have six entered tonight. It is bred and owned by 
Wendy Zastro and Jordan Ashbrenner of Wisconsin. Nice profile of the mama there. Baby looks pretty young in this picture. Entry 115, Flirt. I think I wanted to call this one Flint when I first started practicing reading these names. Next up, entry number 142, Peanut. Peanut is sired by a smooth agent. Of course, one of Bob Roseland's homebred stallions that he still has. The dam is Dealer's Dirty Dancer. And this was bred by Thorson POAs and owned by Terry Thorson of Iowa. Of course, Terry is one of our top contributors, and I think he's watched every episode of this podcast live almost. He's maybe missed one or two live, and he's always catch up and watches them. So he's, like I say, one of our top viewers. So entry number 142 is Peanut. I like that green grass. I wish I had about 20 acres of that, if not 80. Moving on to entry number 139, Boston. Registered name will be MVP, looking for Boston. The sire is MSF, looking to be epic. The dam is Boston Max Bambi. And this one was bred known by Katie Crane of Oregon. Thank you again, Katie, for putting in so many babies we had wisconsin with six one breeder and one breeder from oregon with six and then we had another breeder from wisconsin with four time to take a water break to pronounce this one's name entry number 144 is Zaza, I believe is how you say that. CHR Diamonds Are Forever will be the registered name. Of course, Chimney Hill Ranch and the sire is CHR. He's Tough Enough. That's the grand champion stallion from a few years back. The little stallion that uh, tied for history there, made history winning uh, in the modern era as a small stallion. And then the dam is Doc's Lucky Diamond. Of course, this one was bred known by Tommy and Suzanne Tomlin of Texas. They're still coming. We got a lot of babies to look at, don't we, tonight? Entry number 136 is Chip. I told you we had Clip, and now we have Chip. MVP looking for designs will be the name. Very appropriate name. Sire is MSF looking to be epic. Again, the little 48-inch leopard out there in the upper northwest. The dam is FPF Designs Unlimited. This one was bred known by Katie Crane. This one looks like it's got the head positioned down and it's feeling its way out there walking. Entry number 143 is again from Texas. This is Tyler. CHR Dancing in the Country is its registered name. Sire is CHR Destined to be Tough. They're good few spots staying. And the dam is CHR Katie Bar the Door. You probably recognize that mare. As Tommy and Suzanne Tomlin uh, campaigned her back in the day. I like that profile of her. So, of course, bred by and owned by Tommy and Suzanne Tomlin of Texas. Entry 143. Tyler. Entry number 105 is Mia. Mia's name will be registered name will be just zipping pretty. Sire is pal cavalcade and the dam is just plain impulse. Bred known by Danny Butler. I like those red sheds in the background. I think there's a couple of them loafing sheds. Entry 105, Mia, or Maya. Entry number 123, let's get it all in frame here. This is Roxy. 
Registered name is going to be QR Boone in on the rocks. Sire is a young up and coming corridors checking the cows, and the dam is suddenly stellar. This one was bred and owned by Autumn Quinn Riley. Up close picture there, nice blue halter. It looks like she's checking out the world there in the camera. Over 30 likes and loves on that one. Let's welcome our new members. That's a good sign. Carrie Mawinkie's post. I think we got all our babies shown. Of course, hang in there because we're going to unveil the top 10. I'd do a drum roll, but I might mess up the sound effects. Let's see. I don't know. Sounds like tomahawk drums. Anyway, let's scroll back. I hope I still have a good audience and you're enjoying the show. We're going to get the list of the top 10. We'll give Roxy a little extra time since we had to wait all the way to the end to get to entry number 123. We'll put the spotlight on her. She earned it. She got to wait all night to get mentioned. No fault of her own, just the way the cookie crumbled. 37 watching. Thanks for that, Tracy. Melissa said, love that dam. She's a gem. Still here in love looking at all the cute babies. Thanks, Melissa. All right. So this might get interesting. Don't get dizzy. I got to scroll and find the entry numbers. We're going to start out with entry number 10. And funny enough, entry number 10, or I mean, placing number 10 was the last one to enter the contest. It's entry number 145. So when we get to it, just shout it out. <laughs> I'm kidding, because I can't hear you. Uh, we're getting close, I think. Do, 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 do. Go on speed dial. It should be up closer to the top, I believe. Again, thank you, everybody, for putting in your great babies. I know some of these babies are on different levels of age, and some people are better photographers than others. But I really enjoyed looking at all these babies, each and every one of them. And I know the public did too. And hopefully this even helps sell some or helps your program. So we're getting close here. I was taught in speech class when things don't go exactly the way you want, you keep talking through it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to keep talking. And I knew this would take a little while to scroll through these. I could go way faster, but if you're watching at home, you're going to see zips. Here we go. So, ta-da! Entry 145, Kyle, CHR Hullabaloo from Texas, the Tomlins. This is your 10th place finisher by the judging. Again, it was an independent judge. Uh, no connection to POA, has horse experience. She went off cuteness and didn't have any uh, anything added to that. She just looked at the pictures, picked her favorites, and then placed those favorites 1 to 10. So 10th place, Kyle, CHR, Hullabaloo. Certainly got a great name. Cool few spot there. In ninth place, let's go find ninth place. Do, 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 do. We're scrolling. Okay, there I am. I didn't place ninth. Bear with me. There we go. In ninth place is entry number 137, Clip. And this one was bred by Katie Crane, Catherine Muller Crane from Oregon. Corridor Sire, POA Mama. Really nice head on this baby. I like the trees and the short grass and then the long grass, the fence and the road. I just really enjoyed this picture. I'm not the judge again, but I can add my two cents. So um, that's your ninth place finisher in 2023. 
Entry 137, clip. I think I spotted. I do have almost a photographic memory in POAs, but when you're dealing with 45 babies, sometimes it gets rough. But in eighth place, we have number 119, Romeo. HGF, talk about a loper is his registered name. Now they entered six or a hundred. Yeah, they did enter six in the contest and they were lucky enough to get two in the top 10. So I'm letting the cat out of the bag a little bit, but this is our first one to hit the board. Entry number 119, Romeo in eighth place this year. Moving on to entry number or place number seventh. And taking seventh place is entry number 125. And this is Shroom. Registered name's gonna be AA's Bomb Diggity. So we have a Hullabaloo and a Bomb Diggity in the top 10. Can't beat that, pretty cool names. Uh, British Columbia owned here. Jessica and Betty are up in Canada, British Columbia. And uh, they entered three and they took seventh place with shroom. I love them all. Wonder if my pasture is big enough for a few more. Well, maybe. <laughs> I wish I had a pasture. It's hard to raise them without one. We're moving on to sixth place. I think I seen sixth place down here. Do, do, do. We need some uh, Jeopardy music or something. Uh, maybe next year we can make the show better and have Jeopardy music. Okay, don't get dizzy. I'm going to scroll real fast. Shh, look away for a minute. All right. Sixth place is entry number 141, and that is Sister. And Sister is a full sister to a famous POA. That's why I'm sure Terry named her that. Bread known by Terry Thorson, Thorson POAs of Iowa. So congratulations. He had two entered this year, and Sister finished sixth place in the voting. Moving on to the top five. Are you guys excited to find out who the top five? I am, and I know who they are. In fifth place, we have entry number 124, Jesse. Jesse is AA's Jesse's Wonder, another British Columbia. They had three. They had that real wild-colored one running, and uh, he didn't place in the top ten, uh, but the other two did. Shroom was seventh, and Jesse was fifth. And, of course, Jessica Jeffrey. She also goes by Jessica Belb, and then and Betty Leskowski. From British Columbia so thank you for entering this contest down here in America and you placed fifth and seventh pretty good out of 45 babies and you had three chances so moving on to fourth place I think we got to go this way again fourth place is represented from a farm that entered six so they had a little better odds out of 45. They had six chances to get, and they could have had all six in uh, the top top 10. It could have worked out that way. There are no rules against it. It's whatever the judge picks. So they already had eighth place with Romeo. Now in fourth place is entry 116, Rocky. And Rocky is registered HGF. Just a splash of heaven, and he was entered by Zastro and Ashbrenner of Wisconsin. I believe that says Hidden Gem Farm. That would make sense. She snuck in a little ad on me. I didn't crop it, but that's fine. You know, when you send in six babies, I can let that slip, I guess. And that's probably what HGF stands for, right? Is Hidden Gem Farm up in Wisconsin. So they had... 
six entered tonight, and so far they're in eighth. Let's see, eighth and fourth place. We're on to the top three, everybody. What time of night is it? Oh, it's only 7.30. We're doing good. I told my wife I'd be home at 8.39, so I can slow down. Hope everybody's enjoying this. The 2023 Cutest Baby Contest brought to you by my POA podcast, Black Hand and Beyond. That's from the POA History Group. Of course, it's a lot more than POA History now. It's expanded as we talk about modern subjects and history as well. That's why it is called Black Hand and Beyond. So entering the top three. Let's go down here. Finishing third tonight out of 45 is entry number 127, Casey Joe. Sired by BF, Ultra Impulsive Kid, and the dam is Precious Dark Moon. I don't think they have a registered name for Casey Joe. They didn't yet when they entered. Uh, I talked about how she looked like she was show ready, standing so square, and already in the fresh sawdust there. And the judge liked this picture a lot and uh, put Casey Joe number third, number three tonight. So, that's good. Bread known by Jody Savage of Indiana. We're down to second in our champion. So, first in reserve, however you want to say it. Again, there's no right or wrong answers on these. A lot of these had uh, very popular votes. Some didn't have as many votes. And the uh, judge seen it the way she saw it, and uh, next year there will be a different judge. Uh, sorry, it can't be one of you guys because I always pick a non-POA person, and I believe that's fair because then there's no influences because sometimes you can tell uh, who some of these are from just from the pictures if you're on Facebook every day and looking at these. So number two tonight out of 45 is the very popular entry number 109, Domino. Domino's registered name is Wendy's Soulshine. Really cool name there, Soulshine. Of course, Sire's Wendy's Man in Black, her homebred uh, stallion. Tracy Coyle's uh, prefix is Wendy's, her barn name, her farm name. The dam is Goldie's Secret Nugget. So, of course, Tracy's pretty much a professional photographer almost, and she takes very good pictures of her babies, and she likes the dark colors. And even without a face mark, this baby just jumps off the screen at you. And he plays second place tonight out of 45. Congratulations. He also had some of the most votes. I think he was probably, not votes, but just likes and loves. You could call them votes. Uh, we could have had a popularity contest, but I didn't want to turn it into that. But look at that, over 111 people liked or loved this one and 23 comments. Well, that's a lot. So... In second place tonight, congratulations to Tracy from, I don't know if you're still in Pennsylvania or not, but Tracy Coyle and Wendy's Soulshine, entry number 109, Domino. Did Jimmy win? That's the goat. We were going to have a goat in here as an honorable mention, but I didn't want to get a bunch of chickens and goats and pot belly pigs next year. So Bianca sent me a beautiful picture of like a buckskin goat. He's probably got a breed name, you know, some kind of whatever type of goat he is, miniature 4J horned goat or whatever, but uh, he's real pretty. But uh, Jimmy didn't win, Bianca, but I will reveal the winner. Right now, out of 45 entries, your first place in your cutest baby contest for 2023 on my POA podcast, Black Hand and Beyond, is entry number 102. And this is Porky. Doesn't have a name, but Sire is Hot Chocolate Hunter, the Appaloosa Stallion. Dam is bouncing to the big time. Bread known by... C. Hafer Performance Horses. Of course, Nikki C. Hafer and her family up there. Bianca, her daughter, of course, is, helps run things at a young age. And she sent in these entries. I don't even believe Nikki knew she did it. And, of course, this is her 
little sister Jocelyn, I believe. I called her Little Red Riding Hood. The judge just fell over this picture. I mean, when she seen this picture with the the baby laying like that and the girl, she just she loved this picture. And that was enough to become your champion. It is the cutest contest, and that's pretty cute. So your 2023 cutest baby winner is Porky. And he was happened to be the second one entered, 102, but that didn't have anything to do with it because our 10th place one this year was the last one entered. So that was the last picture the judge looked at when she went through all 45 pictures. So there you have it. Somebody said, yay, Nikki. So Hot Chocolate Hunter was well represented this year on here. Quite a few babies from different farms. Um, you know, I, I don't know how many babies I actually could read and, and do. 45 seems like a lot. You probably hear my voice voice getting a little wore out. You got to remember, I got to work about 7.30 this morning, was covered up all day doing management stuff and sales stuff here at the dealership. And I was actually talking and signing some invoices for the glass crack guy, the windshield replacement guy, at 622. <laughs> and I told him, I have a big podcast that I have to get to in eight minutes. It's just right there next door uh, to where, to my office. But I said, I got to get there. And he's like, oh, have a good night, man. And so eight minutes before you guys seen me, I was signing some invoices. So I wish I could do this full time. Maybe someday when I'm retired, I can enjoy coming up with all kinds of cool ideas. So, again, congratulations to C. Hay for Performance Horses of Wisconsin for winning this year's Cutest Baby Contest with Porky. Uh, speaking of having fun and coming up with some things, I had an epiphany the other day. You know, summertime on TV, a lot of people are working or like POA people, they're showing or they're on vacation having fun. And... So they don't show regular TV shows anymore. You ever notice in the summer? They haven't for years. Even in the 60s, they had summer replacement shows. So what do they have a lot now, I noticed, that night? They have game shows all summer long. They'll have, like, The Wall and different shows over the years, Deal or No Deal. And I noticed last night was Celebrity Family Feud. It was on for three hours on primetime on ABC. So probably about, I don't know, 30 years ago when whenever it was, maybe 20, 23 years ago. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire came out, and I just loved that show. Of course, it was a copy from a British uh, game show, Regis Philbin. If you're of a certain age, you had to see it. It's still in reruns, and they've redone it with three or four different hosts. Of course, Meredith beat Viagra, did it for daytime. And I think Jimmy Kimball was the last one to do a celebrity one. Uh, Terry Crews, I think, was a host once. But, of course, the original with Regis Philbin uh, was very popular. They started playing it every night. Well, 20-some years ago, I sat down and wrote out a trivia contest called Who Wants to Be a POA? And it was based off of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And it had tiers. You started out really easy with questions that anybody should know about POAs. And then as you went on, just like in the game show, it got on to tougher questions, and some were really, really tough. Well, I never really had the opportunity or maybe the guts to present it like at a convention or somewhere and try to host it and have fun. I always thought it'd be cool at a convention or somewhere to sit down and, and have that, maybe like at a breeder's meeting or something. Well, I've had it shelved for 20 years, kind of forgot about it. And the other day I said, we're heading into summer on the podcast. What do they do on TV? They play trivia games and game shows. So if anybody wants to play Who Wants to Be a POA, I've been working on questions. There will be a whole bunch of questions. The show will be set up in like a 14 to 16 question format, starting out with the easy questions. And as you progress, the questions will get harder. To win the whole thing, of course, you're not going to win a million dollars. Sorry, you're not going to win a new car. Couldn't get Jacksons to quite do that. Might win some swag, T-shirt or something, maybe a Frisbee. I'll shake your hand when I see you next time, like in Tulsa or down the road, maybe in Gordyville. Uh, but I think it would be really cool. And if some of you guys are very knowledgeable, of course, some of you guys are experts, you're historians, some are just starting out, don't know quite as much, but it might be cool. You'll also have lifelines. You'll have... Won't have phone a friend because you'll be on the phone with me. But 
you'll have 50-50, which if you watch the original show, that means we take away two of the wrong answers. So you have one wrong answer and one right answer. You know, it eliminates it down to two instead of four. And then you'll have Ask the Audience, which will be you guys right now. Terry, Melissa, Tracy, all the other people that are on here. Some of them, most of you, I can't see your name. Just says Facebook user, like the person that just puts sounds fun, sounds like fun, and a real learning experience. So I do think it's fun. If you guys want to be on the show, PM me. I'll put her, you know, instant message me. I'll put some names in a hat, draw some names out, and I'll start getting serious about doing this. So next week, the studio is going to be dark. I'm judging the show this weekend, so I'm going to be studying up and getting ready for that. So I'm not going to have a podcast, uh, but we'll see you probably in a couple weeks down the road. And we might even see you with who wants to be a POA -er here in June uh, before too long. I think it could be cool. I think it's something we could do several times more than just one podcast. And if somebody gets a question wrong, then they're done. Then we just move on that night. I'd call somebody else and we'd take over, you know, and we'd do it for like an hour or two. And if somebody wins it all the way, I'll go, ooh, and confetti will come from the ceiling. Not quite, but, and, uh, and then that'll be the show. So anyway, I don't want to take away from the show tonight. We had a great uh, baby contest show. This was our second one. Last year, 32 babies. This year, 45 babies. Already looking forward to 24. Some of the buns are in the oven already. And uh, thank you to all the breeders and owners and promoters that uh, put babies in and uh, watch this show. Uh, be thinking about who wants to be a POA -er and boning up on some trivia questions. And uh, it won't all be trivia. Some will be actual facts, like, and, but some will be like, when did the height change or when did it change this? And then you'll have four answers. Some of the answers will be funny. Like one will be obviously wrong on some of them, especially on the easier ones. And then as it gets harder, I mean, some of them will be pretty expert level. Uh, but just like on the show, not everybody went to the million dollar uh, prize. I think we'll do probably, uh, you know, like maybe different tiers, like nine and under, you know. And when I did it, it was eight and under, by the way, nine through 12. I had to revise my thing because it was 20 years ago. 10 to 13, 14 through 18, stuff like that. Not age groups, but that's what you'll go up all the way up to like pro, you know, non-pro, pro. And then all of a sudden you're this pro expert if you win all 16 questions get them right we might reduce it to 15 questions so anyway looking forward to that tracy just said congratulations jan as jan rogers asked tracy to join this contest and she ended up being uh reserve champion tonight second place with domino so congratulations to porky and the sea hafers for winning it domino and tracy coyle second casey joe and the savages from indiana third rocky and uh, zastro and Ash Brenner for fourth. Jesse from uh, Beld in British Columbia was fifth. Sister from Terry Thorson in Iowa was sixth. Shroom from British Columbia in the Belds was seventh. Romeo, again from Wisconsin's Astro and Ash Brenner was eighth. Clip from Katie Crane in Oregon was ninth. And tenth out of 45 finished up Kyle from Tommy and Suzanne Tomlin of Texas. All right, everybody. Had fun tonight. I hope you did, too. We had a lot of comments. Had great comments over the, the week with all this. I hope you enjoyed that logo there, the cutest baby contest. That will be on the poster forever with this couple there, with her and her baby. And we'll do a little cropping on the photo. We might leave the puppies in the background, but we'll add some uh logos to the side and that'll be headed to probably tulsa for the sea hafers to pick up for winning the 2023 cutest baby contest all right everybody thank you for watching thank you for those that entered the contest and uh, won't see you next week but probably in a couple weeks good night everyone enjoy the song